Hey, food lovers. First off, I'd like to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day. Today, we have a special treat. We have my best friend and husband on the show to walk us through a very special Valentine's Day meal. Everyone, please welcome RJ Padua. <laughs> hey, everybody. So I decided today would be a special treat for my wife. What? <laughs> <laughs> mm, so there he's always cooking for everybody i decided that this sunday we want to make it special for valentine's day and uh, we're going to cook together so we're going to do chef gordon ramsay's take on twice baked potato and a steak so first thing we're going to do nary i'm going to get you to take the potatoes out of the oven the reason why is because i will probably burn myself okay yes. she put tin foil on okay. because uh, she says it's going to cook it faster that way yes and we put a little bit of holes on top just so it cooks right through. And of course, we got three because who's here? We got Cine Gunk. So we always got to take care of my, my right hand man, right? So the first thing we want to do is we want to cut the potatoes. We're going to cut the potatoes, just slice the top off. And you're literally just taking like a centimeter off, just enough so that we can get at the center. So we're going to transfer these over to a board. So I'll take mine here. And if you want to put yours on your board. Okay. So Neri, yeah, okay. okay. Is that the safe way? There you go. You know what? I don't Hot have potato. feeling on my fingertips, so I think I'm okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'll take one right here, Neri. Oh, here? Boom, yeah. And then okay. you take yours over there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to slice it. And you want to just slice the top. Your knife is right there. Okay. So you want to just slice the top. And again, it's really hot, okay? So just slice. Look at that. Now, we pre-cooked the potato for 45 minutes so that it is nice and soft. And what you need is a spoon. So you're just going to... Take the top off, Mary. Okay. Just the top. And then we're going to dig out the middle, okay? Now, what you want to do is not go too close to the edges because otherwise you're going to have a limp potato. And on Valentine's, you don't want nothing limp. <laughs> Jerome, I think you have some questions for I us, right? I have some questions for you guys. All so, right. Um, how did you guys meet? So this is a fun story because I think we both have a different take. We have different on, stories. Uh, on, on how we met. So let's go with the Neri version first. Neri, how did, when, would you, when do you remember first meeting me? We actually met twice. Okay. Uh, we met in July of 2012 at a party called Bump and Grind. And uh, like I saw RJ and he was like just dancing in front of me, just trying to get my attention. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm convinced that's what he was doing but he doesn't remember it. But anyways, uh, my friend, Ruth, who I was at the party with, she had said to me, Neri, I'm going to introduce you to my ex-boyfriend. So I'm like, okay, fine, you know, whatever, right? And then she introduces me to her ex-boyfriend, which happens to be RJ. And I remember what he was wearing too. He was wearing this, um, this gray shirt. <laughs> but anyway, so he actually kind of... This is not cooked enough. He actually pushes her to the side a little bit, and then he goes over to me and kisses me right on the cheek. And I was like, oh, who is this guy? I, I don't like him just kissing random girls on the cheek. And so that was like the extent of our meeting. But I was, I don't know, I just thought he was kind of like a yours. player because, you know, just kissing kisses random girls. Anyways, fast forward. We, I actually saw RJ again at a Halloween party at another party called Republic. Oh, my hands are burning. Gosh. I met him so, at, I met so him at Republic. So note to self, <laughs> film a little bit later so that we can have time after church to get here and make sure that these were cooked for 45 minutes. So again, you have to cook them for 45 minutes. You have to make we sure We tried to rush fully. it because we, were, uh, we tried to stay on time with the agenda, but we're still a half hour late. These are the, uh, the new normal of having children. <laughs> I think mine looks okay. Yeah, that's phenomenal. That's why I'm just going to leave yours. Jerome, if you want to just showcase mine. There you Where's, go. Oh, RJ. That looks, <laughs> that looks terrible. All right, so that's Jerome's. <laughs> so, so anyways, uh, okay, so that was the heyday of my party time. And uh, honestly, I don't remember, he doesn't remember meeting Mary there. But after I saw a photo from that night, I do remember seeing them. <laughs> but uh, anyways, let's fast forward to, that was when? July? That was July okay, 2002. Okay, so I remember first meeting Neri November. And every year in November, so it was, I would call it sober November. And so we were at a, a different party. But here's the thing. She was with her friends. And her and her friends are like, 
you know, there's four of them, right? And they're always very like guarded of one another. Like nobody can get into our circle, no new friends, you know, remember and that was all in. So that's kind of like was Nary and her crew. But at the same time we were at this, uh, at a bar. So I went to support a buddy's birthday and my ex was there as well. So I saw Nary and I was like, man, this chick is stunning, right? She was super fit, great legs, right? That's the one thing <laughs> I remember was great legs. And uh, I was trying to like, on the, sl on the slide, be dancing on the side uh, and trying to get her attention. But at the same time, her friend, who's also a mutual friend of mine, he's a guy, was like dancing around us. Like he was right here. And I'm like, dude, beat it. Like, what are you doing? And Grant? so he, yeah, so he was hanging around with us. And um, I didn't get my opportunity to uh, like get Neri's number or any type of connections and that kind of stuff. So that night I felt was like a wash because I really wanted to, you know, to connect with Neri. And um, I don't know, maybe like a month later, was it a month later? Actually, no, no. Okay, so that night, right? Like I thought RJ was trying to talk to me, but you know, I remembered right, him from, from the summer, right? So I remembered him, so I didn't really care. But anyways, I found out he was a personal trainer that night, right? So I actually added him on Facebook that night in November. I still remember it. But RJ didn't actually accept my friend request until a couple weeks after, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then at that point, okay, you can continue. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, what do you mean friend request? Out of friend I, I, I sent you a, fen a friend request on Facebook. But, but you this didn't is back before Facebook was popular, right? Yeah. Like for me, Facebook, you friend request me, there's a good chance I'll do it within minutes. Now, that's back when Facebook wasn't super popular. That's when Blackberry was in. And uh, yeah, so Neri added me and I thought to myself like, score, right? Like I'm in, she added me, like people just don't friend you out of nowhere unless like, you know, they want to take it to the next level. And uh, so we, you know, we, we chit chatted and things and, and this and that. And it actually took us a little while for us to connect. So what we're doing here is we're taking this. And again, it's a lot easier if it's like softer, yeah. <laughs> cook for 45 minutes. Uh, just asking if do you have, do you have air fryer? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. It's still in the box in the so, basement. So, <laughs> so yeah, we um, so we 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 got together. So she had a mutual friend, and I invited her out to a football game, right? So this is kind of like our first official date. So her and her friend came to the football game they were watching, and afterwards we wanted to go out to eat. And I remember sitting at the Denny's, and this is when Neri was kind of like you know, getting into fitness and she was told a certain way to eat and she ate like a ton of carbs. And, and I was like, I just kind of like said something about, do you remember what I said? We got into a fight over whole wheat yeah. pancakes. Like, I remember it sitting was, across from her and I was like, this is over. This is over. I was, was like, this is, not, was this is not a good way to go. Yeah. It was like the worst fight ever. Yeah. And we so, were talking about whole wheat pancakes and uh, like he just blew up at me and, and I'm pretty sure I blew up at him. But that night, I said, I'm never going to speak to RJ again. All right, so I'm adding the butter. And RJ felt the same way too. But it's funny though, because I swear that night, RJ messages me and says he had a great time. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Who says that? Who says you had a great time after we clearly had a disagreement? Like it was huge. So you don't burn a bridge. You don't <laughs> ever burn a bridge. So yeah, I remember it's just sitting across from here and we were just like, arguing we were arguing 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 she had her point of view and you know Neri's pretty set in her ways sometimes and um and so am I right and so we we definitely clashed and um I just remember sitting there so angry and <laughs> we ended up yeah and then fast forward and we started so we ended up dating but it still took a while dating. it still took a while because um after that the whole incident over at Denny's right we were still messaging each other, but you know, I, I think it was bad timing for us. I wasn't really wanting to. Okay, Neri, we're gonna turn the stove I on. I wasn't high really heat. wanting to uh, have a boyfriend. I think RJ wasn't really in that same spot either. Yeah. But we we're messaging each other for months. It actually, when RJ stopped texting me, was when I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not getting this attention anymore, and I didn't like that, right? <laughs> so I messaged him out of the blue, like there you go. in January. January 2013, just out of nowhere. Yeah. And then he says, come over. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'll come over. <laughs> and I swear I haven't gone home since. That's, yeah. that's exactly what happened. Yeah. All right. So what we're doing here, let's get back to this. I cut, got lost. So we're going to go mash up the, the butter. We got bacon bits in here and we got uh, chives and we're going to add the green onions. But you want to add the butter before you add the vegetables because of the fact that it won't melt. 
So we want to also add, we're going to keep it super fatty today. So we're actually going to add cream and we're going to add full fat. Sour cream. Full fat sour cream. So what you want to do is add roughly a fourth of milk, one fourth cup of milk. And then you want to add one fourth cup of sour cream. So I'm just going to eye it. This is how I cook. I just eye it. And I like sour cream. So we're going to add that. We're going to mix it up. At the same time, we put the potatoes back in the oven because you want to get a crispy outer layer. And this, it doesn't really matter how much you mash it up. And just, you know, go to, co go to color. Add in the, the green onions. Should I pull it open? Uh, we're going to pull it out right away. Okay. So at the same time, Neri is putting the pans on high heat. Okay. Don't add the olive yet. Don't add oil? Don't okay. add it yet. Okay. Don't add it yet. Don't so add we're going to mix this up. So this is pretty good. It's pretty soft. And I added the chives. We'll add a little bit more just because I can't see them. All right. What do you got, Drew? All right. Next. Uh, what's your first date? So that was the first date. That was the the first, first date was when we went to Denny's. Yeah. What's your uh, your favorite date of all time? Favorite date of all time. My favorite date of all time? Mine was when we were in the Forks, or we were in the Square, the and Neri was about to go to uh, Bali. It was the night before I was going to Europe. Yeah, or Europe, yeah. She yeah. was going to go for three weeks, and I had to make a decision whether I wanted to have a single summer or whether I wanted to make a full-on commitment to Neri, and I just decided right then and there that I was going to full-on commit. Told her I love her, and I remember we were just sitting there watching uh, one of the shows, and uh, that's it. Three weeks. It was an easier three weeks <laughs> that she was gone because of the fact that I committed to her uh, verbally. You know what? That that day actually stands out too because I was like, he caught me off guard. Right? I didn't know that he was going to say I love you the night before I was about to leave, but. I think that was a special moment because we, what were we doing? Were we on the bikes yeah. on your motorcycle? And then I think it was at Folklorama too during that time. Move all this stuff out of the way. Oh, we were doing right. a bunch of stuff that day. I'm gonna get then... you to stuff this. Yeah. In here? Right. Yeah. Okay. So this needs to go here. So I'd have to say the exact same thing, Jerome. Right. What else the you summer, got? What is your fondest memory of your wedding? Ooh. The fondest memory of mm -hmm. our wedding? So she's gonna be stuffing these right here. So we're twice stuffing it. Okay. I'm going to come over here, Jerome. We're going to go olive oil. Olive oil. Go heavy again. This is going to be a fatty meal. If you were to eat in a restaurant, they would 100% put just as much fat, if not more. you got to season lots, according to Gordon Ramsay, because of the fact that if when you sear it, most of the flavor, he says about 30 to 40% of the flavor comes off. I love kosher salt. I love the granular taste. Right, you've seen the salt bay, right? So we got that. We're gonna roll it around, okay? Uh, what was the question? The so most memorable memory. moment right. of our so wedding. So my most memorable moment was we went and got married in Mexico, and uh, we went out for my bachelor party with the boys, and I remember, um, you know, we stayed out till like two in the afternoon. So literally, we, we left at six p.m and came back at two in the afternoon the next day. And I was completely hungover for that entire day. And Neri spent the entire day in bed with me, which was, to me, that was the most memorable moment. <laughs> Taking care of me when I'm hungover. And we ate cake and oh, we ate everything slept the in majority bed. of the night. Yeah. All right, so that one's smoking there, Jerome. So we're gonna put olive oil. Okay, so what about this? Do I put this back in the oven? Yes, okay. put that back in the oven. We're going to put olive oil, put this here. We're going to put a little bit of butter too. And I'm, I like to cook with my hands. Yeah, this is too much. Okay, that's good. There you go. We're going to sear it. Boom. You can tell which one's the new pan versus which one's the old. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay it down. Okay. So here, we're just going to lay it down. Okay. Yeah. And you can hear it sear, baby. So according to Gordon Ramsay, we're going to go one minute, okay? We're going to go one minute on each side. There we go. All right, so we're going to cook it for one minute. There we go. All right, what do you got, Jerome? 
What next? What is your favorite sexual memory? <laughs> what? what? Right, right away. So what is the favorite, favorite sexual, sexual memory? Because that's probably one that people want to know, right? When you talk oh, marriage, I, you want I, to talk sex. I know sex. already. It was our, our first time. It's so funny. <laughs> it's actually really funny because when we first got we together, go. <laughs> RJ says to me, I'm not going to lie. I can't have sex with you because I'm doing a no sex challenge. And I said, okay, I don't want to have sex with you anyways, right? Because I feel like if you do it on the first date, you're not going to spend, you're not going to do that person ever, right? So I was fine with it. And I have a, you know, no sex on the first date rule anyways. But RJ was waiting for his 30 day challenge to be over. And when it was over, I swear, like he just hopped right on me. Like he didn't even, like I was still sleeping and he just hopped right there. So that was, that was We're the most memorable the for me. If you're asking, I'm being butter. honest. Yeah. Mary, do you know, what, uh, do you know everything about RJ? Yes. Tell me what you know about RJ. I know everything. You have to be more specific. Uh, I know that when he likes food, he swallows it, right? <laughs> and then he brings it back up to taste it again. <laughs> He's also kind of superstitious, just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Um, what else do I know? I don't know. Uh, so, what you put in here? butter, garlic, and we're going to do rosemary on the sides. Okay. Just let it sear. Just like that. Press it into the butter. So let it absorb into the butter. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over again. But this time we're just going to put it on top of the garlic and uh, rosemary. So we're going to put it here, move the butter on over, let it sear on there so it soaks in the flavor. Okay, then we're going to take more butter. You got any questions from the audience? What is Rick, what is Rick saying? All right. What's your five-year plan look together, look like together? Five-year plan. So we got the butter there. Well, we actually passed our five-year plan. <laughs> we actually had our five-year anniversary in January, but we weren't able to fly, so we we're actually supposed to be in Hawaii at the time. Yeah, so normally we take a trip every, every uh, winter just to get away from the cold. And we love to do our family walks. So this year is all about uh, embracing, embracing the winter and um, just making the best of the time that we have indoors. So like, you know, we set up plans, we set up schedules, because usually you're so busy doing everything, you know, with the kids running around. Like even today was a busy day. That's why we were running a little bit late. And it's not even as busy as we normally would be. So you just baste it. You just baste it. Oh, that looks good. That smells really good. good. All right, so we're going to add a little bit more seasoning. A little bit more pepper. A little bit of kosher salt. It's getting <laughs> smoky in here. <laughs> it's getting hot. It's getting hot, getting yeah. Hot. <laughs> All right, turn this one over. Look at that. Oh, look at that seared baby. We're gonna go one more here, one more flip. What kind of steak is this, RJ? This is a beef tenderloin. Now, to be honest with you, I don't know much about different beefs, and I'm sure somebody can tell me what they are. Uh, from what I'm reading and everything, this is a leaner cut. But to be honest with you, I just went with whatever was, <laughs> whatever was a reasonable. So these are about ten bucks a steak. Ten bucks a steak. Now for okay. Neri's, it's eight ounces. For mine, it's ten ounces. All right, so this is pretty much ready, Jerome. Mm -hmm. Now the thing about steaks is that you got to take them out and you got to let them sit. Okay, so a lot of people just take the steaks off and they eat it right away. But what you want to do is you want to let it sit for about ten minutes. Let's put it on a clean plate. There we go. Look at that! Oh my God! Look at that. Oh, baby, that's how you cook a steak. Yeah, boy. Boom. Look at that. Perfectly seared. So Rick is asking me, RJ, oh, Neri, does RJ have a pet name for you? Um, 
Yeah, he does. He does. What is it? He called me Narskin. Oh, yeah. I don't know where he got that from. She's, my got maiden, a, she's got a couple names. My maiden name is Kim, right? And then uh, I don't know how we got Narskin out of it, but he just Nari, called me that. Nari, N-A-R-Y, Kim. Yes. So we put them together. You got Narskin. He called me Narskin. Um, what else? <laughs> I don't know. What are you most appreciative of one another? Ooh, that's a good question. So for me, the things that I appreciate the most from Neri is that she supports growth. So she never, she never uh, limits. You take it out and then you bake it again and then you bake it again. So this is actually three times baked. You got your steak over here. Exactly. Look at that. It's gonna be chewy. It's gonna be nice and fatty. That basted in there. And again, just let it sit. Let it simmer. Boom. So all my steak people out there, Mark, Rick, Jerome, I know we got a lot of steak critics. This is my fourth time cooking in four months. How did I do here, Jerome? Very good, my friend. Very good? This is Jerome approved? Yes. This is Jerome approved? Yes. No, so, let's taste it. Let's taste it. <laughs> so, Neri, you want to try? Yeah, I would love to. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a fatty piece. That's very good. It's very mm. tender. Mm-hmm. Wow. I like that's that rosemary taste. So there we have it. Thank everybody for coming to our house, Valentine's Day. We hope you all absolutely enjoy your day with your loved ones. Every day is Valentine's Day. I get it. But once in a while, it's nice to do something special for somebody else. Oh, thank you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you next week. Happy Valentine's Day.